American Humane, American Hero Veterinary Technician. Brought to you by Zoetis. I came out of high school not really knowing what I wanted to do. I took basic classes out of college. I waitressed for about 10 years. Until that day I was looking and found a description of a vet tech, applied to be a vet tech, and got accepted into a program that ultimately changed my life. Veterinary technicians have always been like my right hand. I can't imagine a veterinary practice functioning properly without veterinary technicians. I worked in a clinic and a puppy came in about 24 hours old for euthanasia due to his cleft palate. A cleft palate is, is fairly common. It's an open passageway in the roof of their mouth between their mouth and the nasal passages in their head. And the other technician said, we're going to euthanize him. And me and my now best friend said, why? So unfortunately, years ago, many of them were euthanized because the process of repairing that cleft palate was extremely difficult and expensive. I thought we could possibly save this puppy, and that has blossomed into the rescue that it is now and what I do now. I run a worldwide cleft support group. We take in newborns born with deformities to try to help people with cleft-affected puppies raise them. It's okay, you're next. Even having one cleft palate puppy that you're in charge of is a very time-consuming and even tedious process. You know, I take in dogs that I know potentially may not live, and I always tell them, you know, if you want to live, you just have to show me, and I will do everything I can to save you. Pip's breeder reached out to me and said, Jenny, I don't feel like he's doing well. I don't know what else to do. I'd really like for you to take him. Pip had a cleft palate and hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus is water in the brain of an animal, a dog, a human. I take him into the vet. We ultrasound through his little soft spot and confirm the hydrocephalus. I x-ray and we found scoliosis, which is a curvature of the spine. Over the course of three weeks, Pip's scoliosis continued to drop down his spine and become worse and worse to the point where it was affecting his trachea, his ability to breathe and I had to let my dog go and that dog was supposed to be my dog from the second I got that phone call. He was my baby, I was supposed to take care of him and you know that's probably the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. One of the things that's remarkable about veterinary technicians and their dedication is, you know, they don't do it for the money, they do it for the love of the job, the love of animals, and frankly, none of it's possible without their assistance. I like being there for the owner as an educator, um, as a shoulder to cry on. Being a vet tech led me to the one thing that I'm truly meant to do. I'm supposed to save these dogs. And who, who else gets to do that? Who else gets to truly live out what they're truly passionate about? So I'm blessed.